We are officially at the Grand Canyon. So that's kind of awesome. Hi, Brian. Do you want a pet, McKenna? <laughs> <laughs> so we are biking somewhere in the K-Bob National Forest. There's an elk. There's like an actual elk. Hey, hey, where are you going? Kind of joking. There's a view. Pulling oh. it. That's a bus stop. Wow. Oh my gosh. We got the full service uh, gas station here. The little girl comes around and cleans the windshield. It's pretty cool. <laughs> it's not as good as it used to be when Alex was really small, like two, three years ago when he first started uh, full-time traveling, she would go clean the windshield and you couldn't even see her head. Now you can see the top of her head, but you couldn't see her head when she was little and it was just this stick came across and cleaning the windshield, it was hilarious. next and it would just cycle back and now it's not even picking up the one and so it's just going through it and eventually picks one up but then it's gone the next time you click it. So it's fun finding what music can we find yeah. <laughs> out in western Texas. So we're about 300 miles into our 500 mile trek today and so it's time to stop for eating, potty break, get gas, walk the dogs, Alex is in charge of lunch getting mm -hmm. at the Flying J, taking orders. We got lasagna rolls from the other night, we got some quesadillas. What's the bonus of Jared not being with us? Food lasts a lot longer. It does. We have leftovers for like days. Well, and we can have food that he we doesn't have leftovers, like. period. Yes, yeah. but having leftovers, which is, is really nice, especially, you know, when we're driving a lot because then when we stop, there's plenty of food to eat and choose yep. from. And we can put mushrooms in stuff. Tomatoes, cucumbers. Carmel's excited. You're gonna go to the Grand Canyon, Carmel? You're gonna go to the Grand Canyon? You're gonna rest up before we get there, right? We're gonna go, and you're gonna go see the Grand Canyon and other doggies, and it's gonna be fun. Look at, look at her, she is excited. Look at that little face. Look at how excited that face is. And the tail's wagging. We're very excited. Pepper. Pepper's just concerned that she makes sure she gets to go in the car with the mommy. So all that matters right now is in the moment. We're living in the moment. But we just got on the road and we're just gonna we're be stopping. Stop. Yeah, we're gonna be stopping because we did boondock last night at a cracker barrel. And so we want to dump our tanks. We're even further west now, Alex. We have hot dogs and milkshakes. Hi. The despised camping is at Forest Road 305. Did you figure out where we're going now? But yeah, so Brian found it. Dispersed camping on. 
Oh, okay, we both have it. Okay, Alex helped him find it. Alex always wants credit for things. Like on some dirt stone road in the woods. You're gonna love this video clip. <laughs> so we'll just go up this road a little further and look for other shade and stuff. Ever decided? There's an elk. There's like an actual elk. It's like right here. I don't think we've ever seen an elk in our other trips out here. This is like amazing. And now Brian stopped, of course, so Alex can video too. Right. I think if I go from here, it should well, be that's, good. Well, that's what I should add. Not too sharp. You gotta watch these trees. Outdoor dining. It has been a week since we've been out biking. Last time was in Indianapolis because with all our traveling. So, got here, set up. Well, didn't even completely set up, but we're like, we gotta get on the bikes. Ugh, get a little exercise after like traveling how many miles? I don't know. Yeah, probably about 1,600 miles. Something like that in the past few days. So we need to just stretch our legs, do a little biking, and then um, hopefully before it's dark, we're going to go over and just check out the Grand Canyon like park itself. We want to kind of just get our bearings for what's over there so that we can start tomorrow fresh and do everything we want to get done. There's a view. Pull on it. That's a bus stop. Wow. Oh my gosh. All right, where's the bag to put all the food in? All right, going hiking in the Grand Canyon on the South Rim Trail, so we need lots of snacks. And we don't have Jared along, so without Jared, luckily, there's, we can take less food. Now what you doing? I'm filling the tank. Why? Through the pump. Why? Because we're boondocking, and we don't have enough water, I don't think, to make it. To we made place. a rookie mistake. Yeah, I didn't fill the freshwater tank because I didn't want to take all that extra like 800 pounds of water. But then we were two days of driving and the overnight and doing dishes and everything. So probably not going to make it until the three, four days. So instead of having to drive the motor home to a place to fill up water, this is at the pump where they have for the uh, antifreeze to put in. But you can also use it if you set the valves the right way to put water or the pump will pump it right into the fresh tank. But I'm trying to remember this, the set up for the valves to make that work. We can go to the campground up there and fill up five, six gallons of water each day, put it into the tank, and then that should be enough to get that it. That should be enough. <laughs> so it is summertime at a national park. The crowd's coming in, even though it's a Tuesday. We got in on a Monday and we're leaving on Friday, so we're doing Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday here. We are officially at the Grand Canyon. Yeah, we're going along the South Rim Trail, which is paved and you know goes along the, the rim along the top. And we're looking, we're jealous of all the people down there. Uh, on They're the, walking on, on the, the yeah. switchbacks on their way down. I really wish I could go on that, but it just looks too, like it's like angled and there's some really rough concrete slabs and stuff. Hey, hey, where are you going? Kind of joking. What what have we figured out we want to do, Brian? It's right behind you. We saw people people riding bikes along the the road, right it's along the It's called the, the Grand, Hermit, Hermit. The Hermit Road or something like yeah. that. It goes right along the south rim along the canyon. And it's not open for cars. Yeah, they have just shuttle buses. March through November, it's yeah. only shuttle buses. But apparently people are allowed to ride bikes. I'll yep. ride my bike on there and you guys hike down to the river. Okay. <laughs> Yeah, to the river. Yeah, that would only take, <laughs> take us like the days. better. Yeah. Take a tent. It <laughs> take, takes a day to hike down, then we tent and hike back the that next day. That would be really cool though. Or you could like just find a cave on the way down and sleep in a cave. Hi, Brian. I'm just going to sit here all day and stare at it. Yeah. We got this schedule for the. Um, they have a schedule in the 
one building we went in for sunrises and sunsets. Oh yeah. And what time it is, and and they do tell you wh where the best place is. Ah, okay. So we could come out. Come back out for a sunset. Yeah. Now Alex did say, don't go too fast down here, Chris. Perfect spot in the shade for our lunch. Yeah, she's real nice here. Yes. And not a bad view. Sure. Whenever you go to a national park, whenever we go to a national park, we have to go to the visitor center. And there's like a couple here. So there's like there's like two within Grand Canyon yeah, this, area. We, we, this is the main one. It's a huge parking lot. But there's like in the village, there's one. and near the campground there was another one so they got a couple of visitor center gift shops so we have to go in and Alex's little passport America book these are great you know even if we didn't have Alex you know and a little kid we would get this <laughs> because they're very cool yeah, so you we get a stamp track. off every time you visit yeah, one so she, she gets show that you've been I can't there. find one with the stamp because we haven't been to all that many so we're gonna go in the visitor center because we need to get we need to get a t-shirt for my cousin and then we always get a keychain that we use as a Christmas ornament. And then, of course, we got our pin and our magnet. <laughs> uh, the, <laughs> did she just go in the RV? Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> doing landscape painting of your surroundings? Yes. That's different. You've never done that before. Don't show the painting. What? Don't show the painting. Why? I don't like it. It's pretty. Put the painting down. I'm like showing it. the painting. Put it down. I already got it on the phone, so. Somewhere in the K Bob National Forest, McKenna. Are you on there? Yes. The cool thing is, it's dispersed camping, so you can camp anywhere. And there's all these dirt paths. There's one main stone road, and then just paths shoot off everywhere. And so it's like just mountain biking or off road biking. Yeah, I'll yeah. take a map. Thank you. Um, yeah, as long as I can have a ramp. Uh, a lift into the shuttle. Here, let's just make it easy for you. You don't have to take the shuttle bus. Where the shuttle bus runs, you can just drive. So that's kind of awesome. Yesterday, the guy was just like, okay, good. Yeah, have a nice day. Uh, but today, she said, oh, anybody have, we want to show the disability pass. She said, anybody have a hard time getting on, or difficulty getting on the uh, shuttle buses? And I said, well, no, as long as there's a one with a wheelchair lift. Yeah. Um, and she said, well, let's just make it easy for you. Yeah. And she gave a, a paper with the pass to get through the gate, and we can drive on that road yeah. that usually just the buses go on. So girls are back there doing sign language, practicing sign language. Girls, yes. In case anyone wondered what all the hand motion was back there, <laughs> right, Alex? Alex is taking Alex. sign language now. Yes. Yes. And McKenna. I am self-taught. No, I took I took a course in my last year of high school. school. And then I found some online, some really good online ones, free, just online resources that I'm teaching myself. So you're learning sign language, so you are helping Alex learn sign language. Okay, so if you come to the Grand Canyon South, you've got to definitely go on this red shuttle bus. This is amazing. God bless the people who put this stairwell in all the way down the side here. It's amazing. Unfortunately for Brian, it's not accessible, but that would have been extremely hard to do ramps. But yeah, what's neat up here is the South Rim Trail, that the paved trail that you can hike on, goes up here. And we were on that trail yesterday and we tried to come this direction, but it got too steep for too long of a period for Brian. But that was okay, because we knew, oh, we'll take the shuttle bus today. But now, since we could just drive up here, then we're gonna park, and once you're up the steep section that forced us to turn around yesterday, um, then it's all pretty much flat up here for Brian and he can do it, so. So this is one of the sections that is not paved. It's kind of like just 
compact stones and stuff. There aren't many sections that aren't paved and there's always ways around it. You can drive up the road a little bit further until you get to the paved section. I would have to say that this is one of the nicer picnic spots we've ever had. Yeah, it's not bad. It's not bad. Don't fall or get stuck or break a tree branch. Kind of found a pretty tree. Do you like that tree, McKenna? It's not just a tree, I'm just trying something. Laying down Would in the look? middle of the walkway at the Grand Canyon, was that what you were trying? Great right, time, McKenna. You're going the right direction. I see the little handicapped guy. I think that's me there. Which one? This one. This is you. You don't have a hiking stick. No. Or a backpack. Yeah. Definitely not you. Pet, McKenna. <laughs> they look so cute. Yeah, they, they grow to be 27 pounds <laughs> and four feet long. Pretty sure they yeah. don't. He's so cute, though. Look at you. Okay, is it better? She made me check if the mic was plugged in. You know, hot springs, we could get fresh water. Did it come out spring? as fast as it came out of the hot springs? I don't know.